Hello, peaceful world. Here is another update from Ukraine from a perspective of an average citizen, a young mom and her precious poor baby who is still sleeping, hopefully. Yes, she is. Oh my God. Oh, look at those teeth. Look at those bastards I want to knock out because they are causing so much pain and suffering to her and to all of us, actually. Uh, Lock them, no see. Uh, so, uh, where do we stand war wise? Um, in a very uncomfortable, unsettling place, still. Um, even though it's been quiet here in Kiev for what feels like forever, really, um, it does not give me any peace of mind. <clears throat> It is not a calm period, it is not a peaceful period, or a good period in terms of uh, the war, uh, because it all feels very ominous, you know. Um, I am certain that Kiev is still the target, and uh, they will try to leave us without electricity and heating, and all of that so uh, some massive attack is just a matter of time and i'm just very apprehensive and so we're living with this tension and fears and pressure somewhere in the background because nobody has cancelled your regular life you know and nobody has cancelled family life work studies um, and all of that so, we did have sirens, I think, last week, uh, and it, it took place at night. And I remember that I was sleeping, you know, finally catching some sleep with Mia. There was little, little, you know, time periods when she's asleep without my boob uh, resting beside me. So, I remember... Like in, in a half dreamy state, I noticed that my husband was holding his phone and watching something um, at night. And I was like, why is he awake? Doesn't he want to sleep? What is going on? And then I got an idea like, oh, there might be sirens. And I, I got this idea that maybe I should grab my phone and, and, and check for any of those notifications. And I was like, oh, screw that. What can I do? You know, I will not go to the bathroom. I will not wake the baby. Mm -mm -mm, not going to happen. So I decided to just keep sleeping. And in the morning, it turned out that there were indeed sirens. And they lasted for about an hour, uh, during which uh, my poor hubby was not able to fall asleep. Because after such a long break, without the rockets and explosions in our city you know he he felt understandably nervous about what might have happened not indeed but once again i think it's a matter of time so this is the background situation uh but I, i'm gonna share the forefront situation which is mia of course as always <laughs> because i think last time i filmed something it was still summery and i must have been wearing something i don't know light but now it's autumn in its full glory as you can see it's 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 lovely I, i'm wearing a you know a jacket and I, i've already got my super mittens ah uh, because yeah yeah a lot of time has passed so how is mia not too good, not too good, because last Friday she got a stomach bug and uh, she has been feeling unwell. The first two days were the worst. She was throwing up at night. I was shocked. I was just astonished at how much vomit can the stomach hold and then, you know, give back. It's uncanny. It's just unbelievable, really. I, I was soaked in vomit. It, it, it's like some hangover 
grown up man threw up all over me. And apart from that surprise, <laughs> uh, I felt, of course, terrified and I felt so sorry for her because, like, what makes me feel pity for babies is that they have no clue what's going on. What is this vomit thing? How to do it? Will I die? Will it ever end? So, when I fantasize about how I might feel in such a situation, having zero experience with a certain event of life, I feel also sorry. And there is nothing I can do, really. You know, I can be near. I can make sure she stays hydrated. And she's doing a really good job this time. She drinks enough. So, that's cool. But yeah, so we've been dealing with that. Uh, apart from that, uh, we've had how many? Maybe three episodes of split nights. Not fun at all. So she falls asleep at 7, 8 p.m. And then she wakes up in an hour and is all active for three, four hours more, which puts us to bed closer to midnight. It's challenging, you know, but I think this is caused by the teething, the illness, the growth spurt, all the new skills she's developing. There is something new every day. Uh, she now walks. She now walks not, not, not as confidently and masterfully as I would like her to, considering her very, very adventurous temper. She's very brave. There is no stop button. There is no caution button on this child. So she walks. Last Friday as well, she felt pretty badly, hit her leaf, there was blood and all. Oh, was it bad? It was very bad. <laughs> Again, embracing, you know, the helplessness of being a mom and understanding that this is just the beginning and there will be many more falls and many more illnesses because this is how she learns this is how she learns to live to fight bacteria and viruses to make skillful steps so it's been hard on me really and on saturday even when she fell asleep after the fall and after the first night with vomiting uh my, my emotions finally came up and I just cried. I just was laying in my bed next to her. She was sleeping, goes oh, ever so beautiful, my little doll. And I was like, oh my God, this is hard. And I was just crying. Uh, at that moment, I thought that I was crying uh, with relief. And then she started vomiting again. So I'm all you know, collect it together again. And I expect another round of tears sometime later when I am sure <laughs> that we're out of the woods. Uh, she seems to be better. She hasn't vomited since that Saturday night. He's had runny poop. Yes, there is poop talk and vomit talk. But this seems to be getting better as well. Uh, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for your uh, fast recovery. Uh, what's up? What's up else? What's happening? Oh, yeah. I'm also a bit nervous about my upcoming studies because at the beginning of November, I will have it for six days in a row. It's the longest stretch and it gives me some worries because it's hard to handle the studies and, 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 and me and everything. Previously, I did it for three days always. It's just, you know, a coincidence of two events happening one after another. And it sucks, really, because how it works. So it all begins in the morning, 10, 11 a.m. And this is the time when Mia previously fell asleep, but now sure schedule nap schedule has shifted so she's gonna fall asleep later at about 12 or 1 p.m but anyhow this is my prime time of studying this is when i can you know be present at those meetings with the video 
just in this fashion, you know, walking with my stroller. Um, take part in some discussions and so on. And then in the afternoon, when she wakes up, I turn on the video and I listen to my lectures or whatever. And then, and then I watch Mia. You know, she plays, she runs, she eats, she poops, she baths, whatever. And I just have this, I do not know what to focus on really. After those days, I feel like my head is going to explode because I'm trying to keep two things in focus, you know, their studies and Mia. And it's really fucking hard. <laughs> Oh, and this time is going to be six days. So I'm, I'm kind of excited. You know, I always look forward to my studies. Almost always. Uh, but also worried that it's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard. But we'll see, you know. I, I'm curious about this conference because uh, it's my first conference. And I don't know what to expect. But we'll see. We'll see. In general, these, these were uh, exhausting for all of us, you know, poor men, you know, trying to work and assist us. It's not easy on him either. And we missed our date last weekend because of Mika's illness. And it's very sad because uh, Shman and I um, have had two dates which were really, really important for me and nothing special happened and what is this date uh this is us sitting next to sleeping mia somewhere in the terrace with like food and drinks for a couple of hours uh, that's it that's maximum what we can afford now but this is a chance to just be human and talk about everything mostly about mia but you know about the war about something we saw on the internet about you know some acquaintances and this feels so good and so normal and they feel like we can reconnect in a way because in this routine days plus routine days with some diseases and other issues something breaks down i don't know and all the alarming news we really do not communicate kind of <laughs> there is no room for it you know somebody watches the child and somebody does his thing and technically we're living together you know we sleep in the same bed the three of us but i i, I really miss my my, my hobby and I, I hope that we will be able to have these dates weekly, be weekly, monthly, I don't know, but at least sometimes. It's gonna get less comfortable and romantic because the terraces are already closed due to the cold. And we'll be just sitting somewhere here in this park under pouring rain, probably with some shawarma and coffee under umbrellas. But I still hope it will happen. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess, I guess that's it. This is where we are. Me is growing, me is a walker. Uh, a bit sick, but hopefully, you know, almost out of the woods. And yeah, we're just surviving, surviving the parents' race, the war race, and all of that. Uh, I'm sure you have noticed my spectacular coat, my spectacular jacket. This amazing turquoise blue, I don't know what color it is. Uh, leather jacket. I don't think it's le real leather. I hope it's not. Because wearing dead skin, being a pet owner just feels absolutely repelling. Uh, and I want to extend my gratitude to my bestie, Marina presented it to me uh i i saw this ad uh that it was on sale and shared it with her like oh i would like to put this thing on my wish list you know 
I'm a woman. I still have wish lists of unnecessary things. You know, war, child, it hasn't changed. And she was, you know, caring and loving enough to just make this gift to me. So thank you, Marina. You can see I'm sporting this amazing outfit. I feel warm. I feel beautiful. So thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, it, it means a lot to me. It's like you're hugging me, honey. It's like you're hugging me. And, I, and I'm giving you a hug too. A virtual hug. Yes. Risking to drop my stroller. <laughs> So, yeah, I think I'm going to end things here. Thank you all who messaged me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, wondering how we are, where we are. This is where we are, you know, in autumn. Uh, I hope all of you have a good day. Uh, I'll get back to you soon, someday. Bye-bye.